Hey, we are the Brook and the Bluff, and you're watching The Music Enthusiast. <laughs> enthusiast and today i'm here with the brook and the bluff how are you guys wonderful we are chilling in montana it's doing great amazing yeah. how are your days been so far what have you been up to well yesterday was a travel day we've been doing a lot of uh like one-off stuff so we've been flying a lot uh, the last couple weeks and uh doing a lot of like prepping for tour because we're about to mm -hmm. go out on a big old like 38 or something show run in a week yeah in a week as well, your album is going to be released. Are you guys nervous? Do you still get nervous, like, two albums down? Um, I mean, for this one, this is the first... Yeah? This is the... Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I was going to say, this is the first time I haven't been nervous. Just, like, I really love this record, so I haven't been nervous about any of it coming out because I think for the first time, too, just personally, I'm, like, at a place where I'm happy with what we did and that is like kind of enough enough for me right now you know check back in with me on friday once mm -hmm. it's not like freaking the fuck out but yeah <laughs> it's like nervous in a different way yeah not, I, I wouldn't say i'm anxious but nervous is like it's like a good it's a good type of pressure you know yeah word yeah um yeah it feels just like because i'm like we're, we're so stoked yeah go for it though. yeah we've just been holding on to the songs for so long so it'll be nice to like you know have them off of our chest and uh give them to the rest of the world you know because some of these songs mm -hmm. have been in the works for like two years now right maybe before yeah. then yeah we um so we spent 10 days in september of 2021 recording like the bulk of it, we tracked almost 10 full songs in 10 days which is crazy and yeah so we've been sitting on it for literally two years. I mean, it was two years ago this time we were actually there, uh, like recording. Two and then two uh, years. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's been literally two years we were there. That's recording. why. <laughs> and um, yeah. some of the songs too were written and started in like 2016. So some of them are even older. Um, they just mm. took a while. It took a while to get for us to get to the right place for those songs. Were there some songs that were created like during the same time when you were creating this album that? didn't make it to the album i would say yes and no usually for the records we've kind of written from a thing of like okay we want to have 10 songs and or at least that's like how i've kind of approached it has been like all right well these are the 10 and, but i don't know this one does feel a little bit different we definitely have some songs that we've recorded that aren't on the record but i don't know that they were we didn't ever record them with the intention of them being on the record so yeah I, I can't really we, I feel I feel like we were very, very intentional about what songs were gonna go on this one. Yeah, Versus, we were never choosing. There there wasn't like two at the end that we were like, okay, we gotta choose between one of these two. Yeah. Yeah. We the ones that made it on the record were like further in development than the yeah. other ideas that didn't. Because we've been so like DIY or whatever, kind of funding everything ourselves. We've always been like really choosy about the ones that we do record too, because it is uh, cause it costs money, you know, and like when we have to pay for it, um, we got to make sure that the ones that we do record, we want to put out. The singles that have been released so far, like are incredible. My personal favorite is head first. Um, it yeah. just feels so comforting. Like it feels like a comfort blanket. Yeah. What, how, like, how did the sound evolve from when you first started? What was it like seeing it evolve to what it is? Because it's like, it's undescribable. That is actually a crazy question because Head First is one of those songs that did start seven, like seven years ago in 2016. Alec wrote the original root loop for it, which is like the intro, the guitar intro that kind of comes in before the vocal. There was like one night when we were living in Birmingham, we were in my apartment and working on a bunch of loops. I think we worked on some other Brook and Bluff song, like songs that would end up on first place that night too. But this was one that we like had a verse for we had all the vocal parts and like the melodies and stuff for and like I kind of came up with them like on this I feel like it was very fast for the actual like parts of that song and we we just like never really put it all together it was like it's very much something we needed to build in the studio and like at that time we didn't have Micah our producer yet who we're is like family to us and is like we have a very close working 
and like collaborative relationship with. I also at that time, we kind of knew, or like, I think I'd had the idea to make it what it is as far as like all the auto tune and just like the, the just mm -hmm. general like weirdness of the song. But I just, I feel like, I, I think we kind of felt like we weren't at the point in our like progression or in our journey yet where we could like kind of take not take the chance but where we where we could like really fully make the song the way that we wanted to until we were mm -hmm. going to make this record and when we had some of the other songs yeah, in the studio yeah we had some of the other songs that were coming coming together for it and it just it was like oh this is this is the one to do this is the time for head first to become like a real mm -hmm. thing it took this evolution but it's pretty true to how it was in the in the, in the beginning too like yeah. the all the guitar tracks and the loops and stuff you hear are were recorded straight from the loop pedal into into pro tools it's like we processed it and and mixed it and everything differently but it actually sounds almost similar or probably what we had kind of imagined yeah at the time it was just also a time when like all of almost all of our shows were three hour like acoustic cover sets well, we were like writing that type of stuff in, in at the apartment, you know, on the side. But, yeah. I don't know. Just interesting. Where did the name come from? Is it a song from the album? Or no? Oh, Bluebeard. Yeah. Um. So there is a song on the album called Bluebeard. We kind of took the title from a Kurt Vonnegut novel that has the same title called Bluebeard. And it's my favorite book. Um, and Fred had read it at some point in our, uh, or like in like 2020 or two, like right when we were about to go into making this record. And we just had this like huge moment about it. Um, and there was a demo that I had made for the Bluebeard song. And the themes of the book just kind of were connecting with some of the themes and some of our feeling like general, just like things that we were talking about, things that we wanted to do as a band um, and like, it just kind of like the book has like kind of the same tone as a lot of the songwriting, I think. And so it just all the mm -hmm. broken blue beard, so many bees. I didn't think we didn't think about that, but that's okay. Alliteration. Okay. <laughs> also realized yesterday we recorded it in the Blue Mountains too. Oh no. <laughs> wow. The Blue Ridge Mountains. We sure not you sure right. We did. It's so funny. I cannot wait for this record to be released. Talk to me about the album cover. It is so gorgeous. Yep. Uh, the butterfly is so pretty. Uh, lots of nature in your visuals as well. I love it. Um, so the album cover is like literally the view that we had oh. um, in the house where we made the record. So um, we made the record in John's family home, um, like his grandfather's, like they're like summer, like kind of they have a home in the in sky valley georgia and we had gone up there to write previously a bunch of times and then we went back to make actually make the record and so that picture is actually our photographer and like noah tidmore um who has done a lot of our video stuff too we brought him up for a few days to kind of like just be in be there and hang out and be in the process kind of like capture some of it and that was one of the pictures the film pictures that he took and we thought it was perfect there are so many things that are perfect about that picture just the way that it captures that moment in time yeah. um with the butterfly and the view and like how perfect of a day that it was it just kind of reminded us when i look at it i'm taking it takes me back it's like a like a like a portal we brought noah our photographer with us when, when we were recording the album and we just had a a bunch of photos that he took uh and that was one of them and we really liked the photo. And for a little while there, we were like trying to make an album art, like yeah. inspired by the photo, using different like painting and cyanotype and different methods to like recreate that. But then at the end of the day, after we got back, we just kind of realized that the thing was the best thing. It was just, let's just give them what, what it actually was. And I think it was. Yeah, I know we like kicked around so many different things trying to make it a perfect record cover and then at the end like we had like two different versions and at the end of the day we scrapped them both and just went with the picture better than anything we could have like actually come up with I think yeah I love it it's so yeah. simple but it's so beautiful at the same time yeah thank you no problem you're also going on tour as mentioned before uh starting like literally a few days after the album release 
Mm-hmm. Um, how excited are you guys for that? You're playing like Bowery Ballroom. You're playing Pootsie Compass in Montreal, like Nashville, like so many cities all over the place. Yeah, uh, this is definitely the biggest, the biggest like uh, and 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 most exciting tour of our of our like lives as a band so far. I'm I'm equal parts like pressurized and excited about it. There's just I mean like there's a lot of elements. We're bringing some lighting along. We've got these songs that are like I'm just so I'm so proud of them and then you know still get, having to play the old ones and satisfy everybody I, it's gonna be it's gonna be wild we're packing a lot into a short time window and it's just like a lot of emotion into into 65 days and I am excited to experience all of them incredible are you guys bringing the old microphone back for like a little acoustic cover set oh uh-huh. Um, we are trying so that microphone is i broke it uh it <laughs> fell flat on stage i tripped over the cord in one of our last headline shows that we played oh and i broke it but we're still definitely i mean that is an element the acoustic element we're looking for another mic that's like a little better okay. that uses, uh-huh. that like has yeah, a to little be fair better. that mic had been struggling it is already our front our sound guy has been giving us a, a hard time about trying to find a mic that has a little bit more output for a really long time so i guess me breaking it was good but to answer your actual question the acoustics element of our set i think is something that we're never never really going to change um because it it is like how we started mm-hmm. and it's like i think in a lot of ways kind of like our favorite way to play like you're you're more intimate you can listen to each other more and you can kind of like dig into the like expressions of the songs in a different way so i think it's and you feel connected to the crowd well yeah the intimacy is is for sure definitely apparent like when it's just acoustic and vocals and the whole crowd is like they're singing with you or just quiet it's yeah. like weirdly more powerful than most moments of a set <laughs> and it's just fun do you guys have any fondest musical memories whether that's like as a band or just like in general in your life oh yeah big time my absolute fondest musical memory is bonnaroo the bonnaroo set that we played in 2021 two, two, 22 summer 22 last summer not this summer that's definitely my number one moment i mean it was insane. It was like everything had like culminated to this point in our whole careers was like driving to that Bonnaroo set. And then it was like we walked on stage and had like the best set of our lives too. Like we played well too. So it was mm-hmm. that was insane. And then I have, uh, there's another memory I have of just like being in choir. Um, I went on a college trip and we sang in Lincoln Hall in New York. And uh, during a rehearsal, there was just like, this weird we something happened in the performance and there's like this weird energy that you can only have in music and it's like you know you get the warm tinglys and like your hair stands up and you're just like feels like you're part of something that's like really really like bigger than than anything than like you are it's like yeah. part of the universe in a weird way so I, that that's probably my two moments i would say so i was i was thinking of bonnaroo too but like right it was like right before the set, we all kind of huddled together and everyone was so excited, but so nervous. And we kind of like Joseph and I just hugged and you could feel, you could feel like, feel like years of emotion coming out because of just like what that moment was for us and for the band and stuff. And it, yeah. And it got me so pumped for the, (laughs) for the show. I feel like, it was it was legitimately like the most energy and like the most on the tightest we played. Like my guitar yeah. was up for like three songs and it literally yeah. didn't even matter. We were just crushing. No. The backdrop, we had this crazy light wall behind us with all these images. Yeah. That you can only really do at Bonnaroo when they have the giant wall, but it was so cool. Yeah. Um honestly, one other for me was like I feel like our first ever tour. Um out west yeah when we were with right i don't know there was no it was actually before that it was like it was just it was just four of us at that point but we like stopped at the grand canyon for the first time and oh yeah we ended we ended up like parking near one of these ledges and 
bringing out that old microphone and setting up a whole thing and just recording a video like on the edge of the Grand Canyon and Terrifying. and it was like our first time ever traveling out there and I was like okay like That's whatever what... happens this is just this is awesome <laughs> this is cool that was <laughs> glad we got that was my moment oh. uh, like that was, that was your moment <laughs> the one that immediately <laughs> came to mind it was like being just us four like driving in a Ford Expedition out of the West Coast and like stopping <laughs> at the Grand Canyon and putting way too much effort into like parking our car and hooking up electrical <laughs> and recording a video at yeah. like the ledge. It was just so like yeah. looking back and like watching that video is just so funny and amazing. That was Bloom, wasn't it? it we did was. Yeah. Mm, we we could, in there. Should we just do, should we do that? One on we could, I mean, that's a great one. <laughs> Bring it back. I think we could Bring all back. We could alternate it with the other one that we're thinking about. Although when my time comes is a good, good thought too. Yesterday, but <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah. this is a, this, <laughs> that's incredible. We can discuss all this. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. On the tour, you're coming to Montreal again. So excited! Uh, is this this is your first like headline Montreal show, right? For sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, do you know French? No. Um, not, uh, no. <laughs> You might have to learn a bit just to like impress um, the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got like a month. Yeah. You can learn phrases. I bet, I feel like I can read French. I don't speaking it at this point is tougher, but so hard. I say that with confidence. I used to be able to read French. <laughs> you guys got it. Do you do you do you think they would appreciate it or I they usually do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah, just like a little like I don't know. Some Bonjour. People... Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Mm -hmm. They'll like be so happy about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Alec took French in high school. We could do it. Yeah. Alec will be the French in the new song, the Le Book and Le Bluff. <laughs> <laughs> I have one last question for you, and that is who are your favorite artists or bands right now? Oh, right now, the, the Japanese house. Oh, I that love record the is... Japanese house. The new record. record. Insane. Insane. I've got my phone right here with my playlist, so I'll just rattle some. Off. Yeah, no, I need to. The band, always the band, fucking incredible, dude. Um, yeah. Let's see. I've been listening to a lot of Briston, Briston Maroney. His record's coming out the week after ours too. Those are mine. I'll say those are mine. I feel like mine are kind of embarrassing, but you know, just <laughs> I've Nothing. been loving Post Malone's new album. Record's awesome. He's just mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm not embarrassed by Just that. Just say it. Post Malone's great. Um, I got into Janelle Monet's new album, mm -hmm. um, which is really great. And took a little throwback to uh, Huey Lewis in the News recently. Sports. And just have been jamming to mm -hmm. that sports record. So, <laughs> yeah. I've been listening to Samia. Right. Is that how you pronounce her name? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That like, record. I feel like y'all have been playing her in the van over the last year or two, but. I like stumbled across it again on my own and was like, oh, well, I don't think I realized how cool some of these songs are. Yeah, her most like, recent record is very super good. good. It was so great you... talking to you guys. Yeah. yeah. Likewise. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And 